All right, so this is an example two, uh, ACCA June 2010 on specific borrowing, right? Now, this is the question. The question says that Apex is a publicly listed supermarket chain. During the current year, it started the building of a new store. The directors are aware that in accordance with the 23 borrowing costs, certain borrowing costs have to be capitalized, now required. Explain the circumstances when and the amount at which borrowing costs uh, should be capitalized in accordance with uh, IS-23 borrowing costs. Now, this is just a question of explanation, so you can refer to the norms. Let's go to the calculation question. Details relating to construction of Apex's new store. Apex issued $10 million unsecured loan with a coupon or nominal interest rate of 6% on 1st April 2009. The loan is redeemable at a premium, which means the loan has an effective finance cost of 7.5% per annum. No problem. Now, the interest rate was 6%, but the, the, since the loan is redeemable at a premium, the cost increased because you pay more than $10 million. So we have to use this new cost, 7.5 rather than 6. The loan was specifically issued to finance the building of the new store which means the definition of a qualifying asset in IS-23. Now, you know, you do you see this? You are told to, the loan was specifically issued to finance the building. So this is the specific borrowing, not general borrowing. And then the question proceeds that, construction of the store commenced on 1st May 2009, and it was completed and ready for use on 28th February 2010. So this is the commencement and this is the cessation but did not open for trading until 1st April 2010. And during the year, trading at Apex's other stores was below expectations, so Apex suspended the construction of the new store for a two-month period during July and August. As I told you, if you suspend the construction, you have to stop capitalizing, right? Okay, the procedure, the proceeds on the loan were temporarily invested for the month of April 2009, and the end interest of 40,000. Now, as for the previous question, if investment income is end on temporary investment, you have to deduct it from the borrowing cost, but actually you have to be careful on whether during that time borrowing costs are being incurred. For example, this case is different because construction commenced on 1st May, while these investments were end on April. So construction had yet to start, so you cannot capitalize it. Now required? calculate uh, the net borrowing costs uh, that should be capitalized as part of the cost uh, of the new store, as well as the finance costs that should be reported in the income statement for the year ended 31st March 2010. So the year end 31st March 2010, right? Okay, so uh, let's go and start with the solution. Now, first of all, you need to know whether the cost are specific or general, gen borrowing costs are specific or general. For specific borrowing, because the question stated they are specific, the amount eligible for borrowing cost is only the actual borrowing cost incurred on those borrowings, less any investment income on their any temporary investment. Now, this interest, this investment should be deducted if actually expenditure was already, already being incurred. Now, to simplify matters, uh, let's first determine the total finance cost of the loan. So total finance cost, uh, how do you obtain it? We will 7.5%, the new rate, because the rate, the, the actual the loan was having a premium. And so total finance cost should be as follows. If you take the loan that was $10 million and multiply by 7.5, right? Yeah. So you'd obtain $750,000. Now, the finance cost to be capitalized, how do you obtain finance cost to be capitalized? It's just easy. Just compare the date first. We are given the date of 1st April, that was the start date of the start starting period. We are given 1st May, that's when our construction commenced. And we're given July and August 2009, that's when there was suspension. 28th February 2010, this was the end of course, that this was the date that completion that was completed. We completed actually making it. And the first May 2010 in the end of the period. So opening, this is the commencement period, July and August suspension, 28th February cessation, and 31st March closing. So what do we do now? You just have to count. Capitalization usually starts from commencement as long as, 
as long as expenditure was already being incurred, the cost was already being taken from the bank. And at first May, the, the, the loan was already taken from the bank, so no problem. So I would count from 1st May to C session to 28th February. 1st May to 28th February, during, that means during 2009, we had eight months. And during 2010, we have two months, giving us a total of 10 months. But there was a suspension during July and August, a suspension of two months. So 10 minus two, I remain with eight months uh, that can be eligible for capitalization. So I would take my total cost of $750,000 and I would apportion it over the eight months, giving me uh, a total of $500,000. All right. Now, the question told us that we had the interest income. If you remember that, we are told that we had the interest income of uh, $40,000. Yeah. We say that we usually deduct this 40,000 interest income, but in this case, read carefully. The proceeds on the loan were temporarily invested in the month of April. These ones were invested in the month of April and during April, actually construction had not commenced. So I cannot use it. I cannot deduct it from the previous question. So that's why I say not interest income was ended during a period in which finance costs were not being capitalized. And so in that case, the interest received should be treated as the normal interest income. And so it should be taken to the income statement as income, right? Rather than being deducted from the borrowing costs. And lastly, the reward of the remaining finance costs. Total finance cost was 750, total borrowing cost was $750,000. But actually we had to capitalize 500. So we remain with $250,000. And this should be taken to the income statement as an expense just as usual. So this is all about uh, our scenario here. So thank you very much uh, for being with me. And then uh, until next time, I wish you, I actually wish you all the best, right?